Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am and once again I'm coming at you with another exciting video. Now you guys might remember about oh a couple of weeks back or so I had mentioned that Cowcat Games had a unknown secret PlayStation Vita game that they were going to be unveiling that following Thursday, uh, which ended up being next week's Thursday because it kind of got pushed back. Well a little fun fact here, around that same time Red Art Games also announced that they too were going to be having a PlayStation Vita the game go up on Thursday. Yep, the same Thursday that Cowcat Games was about to announce their PlayStation Vita game. So that got a few of us in the community to wonder, hmm, could these two be related? They just had to be. And lo and behold, they were. The game we ended up getting here wasn't technically a new title the way some of us were hoping it would be, unfortunately. I lost many a nights of sleep that week. Oh yes, so many hours lost. <clears throat> My dysfunctional sleep patterns aside though, it was, however, a physical release of one of their older titles, that being the game you're seeing on the screen right now, Demetrius the Big Cynical Adventure. <laughs> you guys smell that? I think that's a description reading in our future. Sorry about that, I, I couldn't think of a better segue in. Demetrius is a quirky adventure game packed with tons of humor. Oh gosh, I think it's like a French name or something. Bjorn... Thonin? Bjorn... Thonin? Bjorn... Thonin? Yeah, sure, let's go with that. A slob of an antique dealer living in Paris is robbed one night after coming home drunk. Forced to conduct his own investigation with the help of his neighbor, Sandra. Oh, I can at least pronounce that name right. Thank you, Sandra, for having such an easy name to pronounce. He ends up involved in a murky, mysterious affair. Will these unlikely heroes be able to rise up and discover ancient secrets? Details, a long, varied, standalone adventure, 8 to 12 hours of gameplay. The point and click and visual novel genres mixed together. Over 15,000 lines of dialogue. Ooh, now you got my attention. Hand-drawn art in full 3D. A high level of interactivity. Fun mini-games throughout the story. Search for hidden cookies on every screen for additional puzzle hints. End quote. So I gotta admit, I love my point and click games. In fact, they bring fond memories of when I used to play the PC back in the 80s and 90s. You know, uh, back when dinosaurs roamed the earth. However, I was kind of hoping that if we were going to get a physical release, it would have been a Riddled Corpse EX. But I guess at this point in the lifespan of the Vita, eh, beggars can't be choosers. Now as for the game itself, you can pre-order it right now currently on Red Art Games website and only 999 copies of this title will ever be made. I wouldn't worry too much about it running out because from what I'm looking at their website now, they haven't run out of any of their games. They have a stock still of The Bard's Tale for crying out loud. So the chances of this selling out quick even though it is the shortest print run that they have thus far, not a lot of people know about Red Art Games so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Still best to get a copy though if this kind of title interest you. Oh, and speaking of Bard's Tale, I have some important news to tell you guys. If you pre-ordered the Bard's Tale when it first went up, and you're planning on getting a copy of Demetrius now, check your emails because Red Art Games has sent you a $3 off coupon code. Reason being is because the Bard's Tale unfortunately got pushed back to December. So this is their way of trying to make it right. Just thought I'd let you guys know that. Okay guys, so once again, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this news down in the comments below. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time.